OK, well, a new three-part documentary has aired today on Disney+, Plus, uh, detailing the infamous Wagatha case between footballers' wives Rebecca Vardy and Colleen Rooney, and it's told for the first time from Colleen's side. Wow. Oh, it looks good stuff, doesn't it? We've all watched a little bit of it, but you saw them recently, didn't you? Yeah, I was at the boxing on Saturday, so, yeah, I was um, sat chatting, and, yeah, I asked Colleen about the documentary because I said I was really excited um, to get a chance to watch it, and I think she's just excited to get her side of the story out there. And I got to speak to Wayne about football for an hour, so I was in my element, really, <laughs> to speak to one of the best English footballers about football. So, yeah, I came away from the boxing pretty happy. Mm. Oh, amazing. Mm. So, if we sort of stretch this out, one of the things that comes out in the documentary is that, you know, obviously the tweet that she put out there that set all of the whole waggoth of Christie off, it was like dynamite, wasn't mm. it? And she didn't tell Wayne that she was going wow. to do it. It's... So he was in America and he didn't know, and it was kind of like, oh, my goodness, what have you done? Would you sort of... Would you tell a partner something I mean, as big I, as that? I think I questioned, you know, the fact that she didn't tell him. I don't, maybe, you know, she was in her own thing. It was, it was about her at that time. I mean, I, I must say, even before that, you know, what I do love is that they show that she loved boxing and that she was a strong woman, and that kind of sets you up for her characteristic and why she's gone the way she has. But I think, yeah, I think you should share big moments like that with your partner. You know, there's probably a lot of things that, you know, Wayne didn't share that now she feels maybe she felt like she didn't need to in that moment. Until you're in that situation, you don't know how you would respond. And whatever emotion took her at that time, that's what she did. Um, but I would I would hope that I'd, I'd be able to share something that's going to affect the whole family, um, just so that you can be prepared. Mm. Because I suppose, imagine the ripple effect as that went out, his phone must have been pinging off like Will mm. Smith's. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it must have been... Yeah. <laughs> It must have been going off. So no, it's just I... you. <laughs> it was just me. Babes. So, yeah, babe, what's going on? So I think it's really important to have that kind of maybe between you. It depends on how you, you communicate that ground rule of being able to say. Like, but I think it depends might... on what support you want, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want someone to have support that's when you're going through the stress of it all, just to put their arms around you and go, everything's going to be fine. I'm here for you. Or do you want the support where they get involved yeah. in whatever it is? Because I think that's different support, yeah. in a way. I think sometimes people fear that. It depends on the personality, doesn't yeah. it? But sometimes with blokes, their instinct would be to go, right, I'm yeah, going to go and it. sort it out. Well, for any know. loved one, I guess. You know, if anyone was hurting my family, I'd want to be out there yeah. sticking up for them. But sometimes that can make it a zillion times worse, yeah. in a way. It can be know? a little bit controlling sometimes as well, yeah. you know, or make the situation worse. And, mm. and there's nothing worse if you're already feeling, like, disrespected for then someone close to you to make you feel like your opinion's not valued mm. or you're, you know, making a big deal or actually you can't handle it in the correct way and they need to take over. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, if I didn't share something with Shelley, I think she'd kick us out of the house. But <laughs> I, do think, I do agree with what you say. It's kind of sometimes you come back from work or you say, if I told her things had been said on Twitter and stuff like that, I think she'd find out where they lived and maybe go and say <laughs> yeah. something to them. But I think it's deciding, as you say, mm. do you want that arm round you or do you want them to go and fight your battles? And usually it's you want to fight it on your own, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Mm. Or you want to be able to vent yes. to them. But then have a sort of a thing where you can say to them, all right, yeah, I do want you to sort this out for me yeah. or not. But... I think that's what the thing is, you know, Jay. You, you just want to be able to vent and get it all out to somebody, and usually it is that partner, that close person, and then they just have your back in mm. a way. It's like when you come back, when you have to be pumped up again to go back out there again mm. and fight. I mean, I do wonder also whether there was a part of her where she thought, I'm not going to tell him because he might talk me out of it. Because mm. <laughs> she'd it's been true. doing a lot of... You know, when you watch the documentary, it's a very long process that she yeah. went... A long process of elim elimination that she went through. Mm. So that's a very long time. I'm assuming that she was talking to him along the way about people are leaking this stuff and mm. I don't know who it is. Yeah. I think it might be a... Do you think it could be Colleen? Do you think it could be Jill? Do you think it yeah. could be Judy? But then that just that dynamite last moment of dot, 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 it's Rebecca Vardy's account. And it's someone you know. I mean, that emotion, as I said, probably took over. I mean, she didn't have time to be having a conversation with me. I think you're right. It's a point of where you think, are you going to be told not to do it or taken out of it when you've worked... I mean, like you said, in the documentary, I mean, this... Agatha Christie was definitely the right name because she went in. Yeah. Uh, it was real investigation. And what I love is that once he did know, Wayne 
got very stuck in, apparently, and she says something about, like, he's there with the barristers going, what about this? And she has to tell him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have been the first time, would so, it? <laughs> so he was in there fighting for her.